Hi guys, welcome to a new tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add a target to a line chart. If you have questions, don't forget to leave a comment in the section below. Also, you can download the sample file in the description. If you like the video, don't forget to like and to subscribe at the end. So, let's get started! Okay, so to begin with this chart, we need to have our data structured in two columns. In this case, I have column B, sales date, and I have column C, fill rate. And I want to have a target line, which is going to be 85%, that will allow me to compare if my fill rate for a certain date is above or below the target. So what I want to do is to select my data from cell B2 down to cell C28, and I'm gonna go up to the insert menu I'm gonna click here on line chart and I'm gonna select this option right here, the line chart. And there we go. I'm just gonna move it here and I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so that you can see it. All right, so now what I want to do is to add my target line. So what I want to do is to click here on column D and I'm gonna type in here target and since I want the target to be 85%, I'm gonna type in here 85, and I'm gonna copy the same number down to all of the cells right next to the fill rate. So after I'm done with this, I'm gonna select my chart again, and I'm gonna go up to the chart design menu, and I'm gonna click on select data. And in here, I'm gonna get this pop-up window and I'm gonna look for the legend entries and I'm gonna click on add. By doing this, I'm going to add the target column that we have on column D to the actual chart. So where it says serious name, I'm just gonna click cell D2. And where it says serious values, I'm gonna delete this thing right here and I'm gonna select from cell D3 down to cell D26. Okay, I'm gonna click OK. And I'm gonna click OK in here. And as you can see, now I have an orange line in here, which is the target that I wanted. And all of the data points are on the same point at 85%. So in this case, I can clearly see the dates in which I didn't reach the target. For example, in here, from October 21 to February 22, I had a fill rate below the target. But after this month, going from March to the following months, my fill rate was above the target. So that's how the line is going to help me to identify if I reached the target or not. So as a final step for this chart, I'm just gonna add the data labels to this line so I'm gonna click it and I'm gonna go up here to add chart element and I'm gonna click on data labels and in here I'm gonna select the option that says above okay so I'm just gonna click it to make them a little bit bigger I'm gonna go back to home menu I'm gonna put them in bold and I'm gonna change the size so that you can see it better Okay, so now I can see the data points in which we perform better or worse than the target of 85%. Okay, so I'm just gonna move this chart right here because I want to show you a quicker way to do it. If your data is already structured like this, then you don't have to do the whole process. You can just select from cell B2 down to cell D28 and you can go up to the insert menu and you can look for the line chart in here and there you go you're gonna have your chart automatically the way you want it with the fill rate and the target so that's how you add a target to a line chart don't forget to check my other video where i show you how to format a line chart Alright guys, I hope that video was useful. If it was, please don't forget to leave a comment, 
to like and to subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything and you'll be motivating me to upload more tutorials for you. Also, don't forget that you can download the sample file in the description below. So, thanks again and see you next time!